text, hmm. typing mm. is such a shit way to communicate. Oh, you don't know how to read someone. Come on. <laughs> Unless you know that person, you know them. Yeah. And you know their tonalities and, yeah. and how they, they speak. And yeah. Th- this is why I think I'm going to do this until I die. <laughs> like, I think this podcast will just happen. I hope it happens forever. Talk chimps forever. Right. <laughs> Get a shirt. Forever Talk and ever. Talk chimps forever. <laughs> no, because we've never been more connected and we've never had more reason to be disconnected. Mm. And so you lose a lot of this. Mm. I bet all those people who made you... All those people who like bother us when we see those comments on social media, those ignorant comments that can spark emotion in you. Come on, man. Mm. Fuck you, man. You don't understand, man. If you get most of those people in a room with you eye to eye, I think most people will be able to have an okay, reasonable conversation. Mm. Now, whether you would change their perspective or not is is different. Uh, But I think most people feel like... uh, Well, one, like I said, it's a very poor form of communication, tonality. Um, you got short limitations for text. And I think it is up to us as individuals to do, to, to be the change. And so communicate by, by different, better means so you can have less ambiguity, less misinterpretation, you know? Video, voice messages, right? if you're gonna still stay on social media. Like, like, let's try and upgrade the level of our communication. Let's try and like, I don't have, I made a rule for myself. I will not have, I will do my best to not have any important, meaningful conversations with anybody over text. Text messenger is, is a form of back and forth quick communication whether it's professionally with clients or whether it's whether it's organizing things or, or whether it's just keeping in contact with people I wouldn't ordinarily um, see very often but I think maybe we should like voice messages that we send as a group to each other <laughs> right yeah <It's> just, <laughs> Jeremy Paul's <Pozzo> loves <laughs> a yeah. voice message it's, it's better than text yeah. it's not better than person mm. it's not better than a call maybe mm. But it's pretty. It's it's an up up there, and so I think that's something we can consider in trying to change our communication. Mm. And on the flip side as well, give me the flip how, side. How how crap social media can be, and we know that um, social media just adds all these pressures in terms of um, individuals and and I guess how they perceive themselves and how they want to like be portray this image, da 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 You know that there's a lot of mental health issues that, that can be linked to social mm, media because people are trying to trying to get however many likes, they're trying to get however many followers, whatever. Um, in particular, like with, with the younger demographic, like kids at school, like we know that, that that's an issue, like trying to get all these people on your Snapchat, mm. whatever. But during what's going on in the world lately with the whole coronavirus and and being in in lockdown and not being able to be face to face with your friends how powerful social media has yeah. been for that Connect, yeah generally speaking you'd always be like have face to face conversations with people get off your phone when you are sitting with someone but now it's like we need it yeah now yeah cuz i can't see you yeah i feel alone mm Video call. And it's funny how many um, apps have now... Cha- well, I guess Facebook owns Instagram now. But I think they saw that there was this other app, House Party, where people, you could just like jump in. You could have like a little chat room. So we could just be video calling one-on-one and then someone else might see that, that we're having this conversation and they'll just jump in. Like Random can, strangers can do that? No, no, no. People that you're friends with. Oh, unless cool. you've got Unless you've got your, oh, interesting. your privacy settings. It's but like apparently a, that app's very dodgy. So I wouldn't go downloading it and well, using it. TikTok's owned by the Chinese government. So you ain't getting me to download <laughs> that. Fuck all that. <laughs> but then Facebook then 
had a similar thing. They're like, they called it, they've called it rooms mm. or, or group rooms or, or something like that where you could do the exact same thing. I haven't used it, but, but that's obviously something they saw that that company was being successful with it. They were yeah. getting a lot of people downloading it. So then psh, we're going to do the same thing. That's what they do. Yeah. So I just found that, that was interesting that everyone, or not interesting. It's kind of a given that if, if something's getting traction, it's being successful, that more people are going to jump on the bandwagon. Yes, and other companies will try and emulate it. Yeah. Espe- and it, it'll be, the opportunity is this adversity. So in this time where people feel like they're disconnected because they can't connect in person, mm. let's connect them virtually. Yeah. Due to their circumstances. Yeah.